Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and in the previous video tutorial, as you know that we have successfully retrieved all the requests on our request fragment here. Now what we're gonna do in this video tutorial is that whenever a user click on any uh, item here or you can say uh, when a user click on accept or cancel button, then it should display a pop-up, uh, I mean a dialog box which will uh, ask the user either you are going to accept uh, that request or cancel that request so yeah we will work on that and let's do that so here we left in the previous tutorial where we basically retrieve all the uh, request on our request fragment using the firebase recycler adapter new and latest version so now here uh, if you come down here then here we have this uh, where we are uh, retrieving the data from the database and here we are displaying it okay so what we gonna do is that uh, after this else statement by using the holder object of our static class dot item view dot set on click listener new on click listener so here we can create options for the uh, for our dialog box so char sequence options let's give it a name as options and then these two braces equals to new char sequence and put two curly braces and inside these two curly braces we have to uh, assign options so the first one will be the accept comma the second one will be cancel and make sure to put a semicolon here alert dialog dot builder let's give it a name as builder equals to new alert dialog dot builder get context build dot set title so the title for it will be chat request put a semicolon here you can also uh, display the name of the user that is let's say if I click on Sarah uh, I mean here if I click on the accept button then it should pop out a dialog box and alongside with it uh, the title will be written like Sarah chat request so yeah let's do that I mean it will looks more perfect if we display the username alongside with it also that is to uh, about uh, which user uh, request we are uh, accepting or cancel uh, we want to cancel it so to do it what I'm going to do is here you can see we are uh, retrieving uh, the uh, username user status profile and here we just uh, username and status so what I'm going to do is that remove this uh, username and status from here okay and also remove this because we uh, do not want to repeat it we also written that okay so what i'm going to do is cut this code from here control x because as you know that the profile image is uh, optional that is let's say if a user has not set the profile image then it can uh, not display that image and it will display the default profile image but uh, these things are mandatory that is the username and uh, status okay just like you guys see in whatsapp so in this way so now i can use this uh, request username okay and the status also if you want to display so here i can simply pass that name here make sure to put this concatenation sign plus and here i can say request username so it will now display uh, to us the uh, username that is let's say Mohammed Ali chat request and then these two options which is accept and cancel you will understand it once we run the app so after that by using the builder dot set items and we have to pass the options here new dialog interface dot on click listener and you can see alongside with it this one click is created make sure to put a semicolon here now here inside this we can basically get the position of this accept and cancel so for the accept we can say if and you can see this i integer type variable it will get the position basically so if i is equals to zero it means that the user has sorry double equals okay so if the user uh, click on the accept button then it basically means 
I mean if uh, the user click on accept it means that i is equals to 0 okay so it will get this first option that is the user has click on this button which is accept and second one copy paste this and it will be for the cancel and the position of this will be 1 so yeah here uh, once the user accept the request then what we going to do is uh, to um, display that we will uh, remove the request uh, from the here from the request list and that user will be added in the contact list so we have to uh, add a query firebase query for that so here I can uh, simply use the first we have to create that which will be our contacts uh, reference so let's come here above and let's create a database reference so that will be by the name contacts ref and here inside the on create view after this uh, we have to say contacts ref firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child and the child will be our contacts so now here inside this if statement we can say contacts a ref dot child and we have to pass the uh, current user ID which is basically the sender ID because we are storing this uh, new contact in our contact list just like we uh, did when we were sending and accepting the chat request okay so here after this we have to pass the receiver ID and now in this case the receiver ID is stored inside the list user ID which we are retrieving here above okay I hope you remember that in the previous video tutorial we have done that so if you have not watched the previous video tutorial then please go and watch that video tutorial first so after that we can say dot child count dot child save dot add on complete so we have to set the value okay for it so it will be set value or contact save and then we have to say add on complete listener new on complete listener and inside this first of all make sure to put a semicolon here and here we can say if task dot is successful then we have to uh, uh, save this contact also for the receiver so what I am going to do is I will simply copy this whole thing okay copy this and paste that inside this if task dot is successful and now first of all remove this current user id and this one and first we have to pass the list user id now this is the receiver id and this is the sender id now up to here uh, the contacts will be saved okay and it will be displayed here but the thing is uh, the second thing is the to remove that request from the uh, request fragment okay that is now the both of users are added in their contact list so we have to remove the request from here on the request fragment so for that uh, as you know that we have already created our uh, chat request reference in the previous tutorial so by using that we can say dot child list user id first we have to remove it for the sender so we can say current user id dot child list user id and after it we can say dot remove value dot add on complete listener new on complete listener and here make sure to put a semicolon here and now the next thing is we have to remove it for the receiver so copy this chat request reference again and here first of all uh, write if task dot is successful then we will copy it and paste that code here okay so copy this code now and paste that here so yeah now change this first one will be list user id and the other one will be the current user id and here we can you can simply write uh, toast message just to tell the user 
so here we need to pass the context which is the get context and now after that we can uh, just tell the user that is contact saved or instead of that we can say new contact saved or new contact added whatever you uh, write here okay edit or saved will be good I mean whatever the message you like to display here to the user so now the next thing is uh, to work on the uh, this one is for the accept okay and now we have to work on the cancel so for the cancel it is uh, really easy that is if the user click on the cancel then it should simply display the uh, chat request okay so as you know that here we have this code which he wrote inside this uh, from here okay chat request ref dot child current and list user id you can simply copy this up to here okay control c and now come down here and here when we say if i equals to one then inside this you can simply pass that code so what it will, will do is just it will directly first remove the contact uh, from i mean the request okay this is the chat request it will first remove the chat request for the uh, sender and then for the receiver and here we have to uh, display a message so we can tell the user that is contact deleted so come down here when we say once this if statement finish okay then we have this brace I mean this one which is basically our uh, dialog box if you uh, come from the top let me tell you that is this one okay and now come down and here you can see so above this here we can say builder dot show and yeah that's it now uh, one uh, what I'm going to do further to add is to make it more uh, cool that is here when we just uh, say that is we are displaying the uh, profile status so instead of that as you know this is the chat request so instead of displaying that here we can say this is the user status okay so here we can just tell the user wants to connect with you so yeah that's it and now let's run the app the app is running now successfully and now if we go to the chat uh, request fragment then here you can see these are our requests uh, which you receive and this is our contact list so uh, see both of them and now what we are going to do is let's click on uh, Jennifer Carter okay so if I click here then here you can see Jennifer uh, Carter chat request so uh, you can see now along with the uh, username it display us the title which is the chat request now you can also give space here uh, by simply come here and here when we were uh, displaying that here here okay this is chat request so you can simply move it little bit like that and then if you run the app then it will uh, display some space so the app is running now and if I come here okay I run the app again and now if I click here then here you can see it looks more beautiful Jennifer Carter chat request and now if I click on this one then here you can see Glenn uh, Carter chat request and this is Sarah and it says Sarah chat request so now what I'm going to do is for Jennifer Carter let's say click on accept and here you can see new contact saved and now if I go to the contact list and here you can see Jennifer Carter and now if I uh, come here and I uh, click on uh, Glenn Carter let's say so here you can see Glenn Carter chat request and now if I click on cancel then here you can see contact deleted so I mean this is perfect this is amazing both of the functionalities now works which is the accept and cancel so yeah that's it for this video if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now